Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. Today I'm going to run you through how to use CoinJar's mobile app, how you can get a free CoinJar swipe card so you can spend your Bitcoin anywhere, and how you can get some free Bitcoin with a little sign-up bonus that we've teed up with the guys over at the CoinJar exchange. So this mobile app is the only Australian crypto exchange app on iOS and Android that you can use. Uh, CoinJar is Australia's longest running crypto exchange, certainly one that I have used personally, and apparently so have 400,000 other people. So plenty of you have probably uh, used their website before, but I'm going to run you through all those features that are now in the mobile app. Uh, a little bit of nostalgia here. Most of you that have followed the channel know that I got into Bitcoin back in 2012, but you couldn't actually buy Bitcoin anyway that I could find in those early days. So CoinJar was one of the first Australian exchanges to pop up and that was a wild year when they opened so Bitcoin started the year at ten dollars and ran all the way up to a thousand dollars so a hundred fold return and then it crashed all the way back down to a hundred dollars on a couple of exchanges and it was actually this week here in February 2014 which I remember very clearly trying to buy the dip and I had a search through my uh, old email account and sure enough there it was the little bit of dollar cost averaging I could do here or there when we had a dip in Bitcoin so uh, that's a little bit of nostalgia for you before we get into uh, the video and wouldn't it be nice if uh, Bitcoin was $100 uh, again now. Anyway, these days they've got a few more coins listed, all the most common ones uh, that people want, particularly these stable coins which are growing in value as well that uh, a lot of people are, are using for global payments as well as the most common cryptocurrencies that people want to uh, invest in. So let's get into it. Once you have downloaded the app on iOS or Android, you'll see this screen where you will have to uh, sign up. So as always, just type in that email address, um, agree to the terms, type in your um, full name, set a password. You will have to have a strong password and I recommend you actually use a password manager, particularly if you're using large amounts of crypto these days so that no one can guess your password and don't store that anywhere online. Uh, that's going to confirm your details. Then you'll have to confirm your email address. Um, once you've clicked on that email and opened it up, you're all good to go on to the next step. Now, they are open to certain countries. Obviously, the majority of people uh, are Australian users, and then you will have to verify your mobile number. It's always best to set up two-factor authentication as well at that point. Um, that's another code on top of your password or PIN number that you can set just to add another layer of security in case someone tries to hack your account through the website or by other means. So they'll send a, a confirmation code to your mobile to confirm you're connecting the right uh, phone and once that's all set up uh, you can set up another passcode so these are just all the different layers of security that you can never be too safe with crypto because you do hear these horror stories so look confirm that password uh, if you've got a newer smartphone you can use the touch ID the fingerprint uh, which is fantastic. I love this feature as well. Um, face ID as well, so the face scanner, um, up to you. You can use any one of these that you like or trust. Uh, and then you'll get to this home screen. So once you're on this home screen, you can click on more. Uh, there'll be little notifications up the top here as well as these other features, which we'll go through in a sec. Um, but if you click on more, if you don't already have a CoinJar account, you can now fast track and verify your identity all through the app. So as always, you have to go through these steps to do the, the KYC, the know, why, know your customer and AML. So these are the laws in Australia that crypto exchanges uh, need to abide by. So type in your last name, confirm your address, uh, you'll need to use some form of ID to get up those uh, those points. So a driver's license and a passport is normally uh, all you'll need. Um, there's a couple of other options there as well if you don't have those. That's going to confirm all those details and match you up in the system. Uh, then you do have to take a picture of your ID. If you've got your phone, that's going to just open up the camera, um, nice and easy to do. Just make sure it's a nice uh, clear picture, as they say there. It might ask you to do the front and the back. 
Then this is the fun part that some people might not be used to. If you haven't used a crypto exchange before, you do have to take a selfie uh, holding your license and that's to prove that someone hasn't just got images or copies of your um, IDs online, um, that you're the actual person with that actual ID. So once they've got all that information, they now verify all your documents. Uh, depending on how busy an exchange is, this process can be very fast, or I think at the height of the crazy bull market back in 2017, there were pretty long wait times, but I know a lot of those systems have been improved since, and that's why I think this mobile app is going to be so handy as we hopefully enter this new crypto bull market with lots of users. There's now plenty of ways just to you know, get into the crypto space with nice easy apps like this um, and then the ways to deposit. So as you can see here, the different ways to actually fund your account. Uh, we've got the pay ID or the new payments platform that some people like to use. That's got no fees to fund your account. BPay can take uh, a couple of business days, but again, there's no fees. Uh, Blue Shift is one that some of you will be familiar with. I'll link that website down in the description as well. But this is where you can drop off cash in person to um, news agents, for example, or one of these places, businesses that support Blue Shift. And on their website, they've got a map. So you just type in your postcode. It'll show you all the places nearby that support the system. You go in, drop off the cash, They'll ask you for your ID just to verify who you are, um, and then they'll say, you know, what's your Bitcoin address? And um, there's a fee for that um, because of the convenience, I guess, uh, but that is another way you can fund your account. And then you can also send crypto there already. So if you're familiar with how to use crypto and you've already got some and you want to send it over to CoinJar, your account, your mobile app now, you can just deposit um, any of the cryptocurrencies that they support. So if you do want to actually do a bank deposit directly, you can also link this bank account. You're going to need that for when you sell or take profits in future as well. Um, so link the uh, bank details there. Um, and then you'll get this home screen where you can click on the different coins, um, you know, customize all that depending on what you own. If you do want to buy Bitcoin, it's going to tell you how much you've got in your account. Uh, and then you can either type a dollar amount or swap it over and type in a Bitcoin amount, 0.21 Bitcoin, for example, and it's going to tell you that dollar value there. So nice and easy. Uh, review and buy, just confirm all those details, make sure you've got it right, and then just swipe down the bottom to buy on your phone. So it really couldn't be easier um, for other, I guess, features that we're going to run through now. That's the little chart screen, so you can click on the different time frames to see that price going up and down uh, all the way back until 2014 or maybe 2013, I think, um, in that feature there. If you do want to sell, for example, here, um, Ethereum, let's just say we want to sell some and we want to um, cash out and take our profits or use some in our CoinJar swipe card that we might have just got for free. Again, in the link down below, that uh, is a special offer that I've teed up for us, guys. So. Um, when you want to sell, they're just going to confirm that you want to withdraw to that bank account that you've um, synced up and that is going to be back in your account, depending on the bank you're with and the time frame, you know, within a day or two as well. Receiving Bitcoin on the screen, if you want to receive Bitcoin to the address that you've just teed up in the app, you can either scan this QR code if you're sending from another website, if you've got another mobile app and you can scan that using your phone camera, or you just copy this address. That is your Bitcoin address. And if you're new to crypto, this is just like your uh, BSB and account number for your bank. So you can share this with other people so that they can pay you. Now, always checking the first few letters and last few letters when you're doing addresses. You know, never try and type it out. You make one little mistake, and um, you know people have sent their exchange to uh, their crypto to the grave by using the wrong address. So always use copy and paste. Um, never try and type it out. Double check the whole address, particularly the first few and last few letters, um, to make sure you haven't missed anything there. If you are sending crypto to someone else or making a payment to say a website or paying a bill, which you can do in Australia, I've done videos on that, I'll link down below as well. On the screen of the website, they'll pop up a QR code, which is just this little barcode, the square here. Then you can just scan that and that is gonna let you send or pay for things with Bitcoin. 
Um, you can send to another wallet address like I just showed you where you'd copy and paste the address you want to send your crypto to. You can actually save uh, contacts like an address book. So you could you know, save Nuggets News and you can save their address if you know you're going to be paying them regularly, for example. Or another CoinJar username. So if you know your friends, um, usernames in CoinJar, you can just um, click on that. That's nice and easy as well. Review and pay, swipe to confirm. Uh, and the next thing we want to talk about is that coin jar card. So look, a lot of people still don't realize that you can pay for just about everything with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies already. So the coin jar swipe card, you can use that anywhere you use any debit card, um, exactly the same way as you would. And this just sort of blows the new users away. They don't know that this is already, I guess, available and happening. So all you need to do is choose a way to top up your swipe card. So let's say you're going out shopping, you've got some crypto that you know in your um, coin jar account. You just open that up in the app and choose to top it up. You might choose $100 out of your Bitcoin and that'll top up into your coin jar swipe card. And then you can use it, you can withdraw cash. Um, it's all very easy to do. And you've got your recent transactions there. Um, check your balance, top it up again if you need to. Um, you know, I've had this card for many years now and it's very, very easy to use. So not only can you make those purchases, withdraw cash, as I said, um, low or no fees, but earning rewards as well. So CoinJar, I've got a pretty cool reward system. Uh, everything from uh, TradingView account, which I have used this feature in the past for the traders of you out there. Um, membership to all our premium services over on our website. If you want to get another CoinJar swipe card or you know, maybe buy one for your friend and they can activate theirs, as well as other features like gift cards for you know, iTunes, Uber, Netflix, um, and plenty more goodies if you want to head over to the website and check out the, the long list of what you can buy with your rewards points. So tying it all together, guys, don't forget to use that link down below to get yourself a free CoinJar swipe card. We're also going to give you $10 Bitcoin so you can buy yourself a coffee or something to eat. Have a play around with it. It is free to download, so head over to the App Store or Google Play to try it out now. If you want more videos or any of our educational content, head over to nuggetsnews.com.au or check out the videos in the description down below. And give this video a like, share it around with friends and family, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you again soon. Cheers.